What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Salt Lake City, Utah. Today, we're gonna show you how we film a luxury wedding. Let's go. Get ready, drop the confetti. What's happening next is I'm heading to shoot the groom. He lives way far away compared to where the bride is, who's just across the street. And so you're gonna follow Nate and film some bridal prep. The groom prep won't be anything crazy. So uh, let's get to it. Meet the team later. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We are at the Airbnb. She's not even close being done with her makeup or her hair, which is perfect because I have enough time to just wander around, get some extra shots. We also have <laughs> we got we got Tennyson Stanley here. He is tasked today as our third shooter. He's just getting creative shots. So he's gonna be wandering around. He can get some city shots. He can get some outside shots of the house while I'm just roaming around getting kind of those ambient moody shots. As far as what I'm shooting with, I got the Sony FX3 and you guys are gonna be pumped to see this. We got ND filters today, baby. Gave into the peer pressure. I'm on the 85 millimeter. So let's go in, start capturing this, shall we? 1 over 48 shutter, 24 frames per second with an f2.0 aperture. Try to create as much depth as possible. So right here, I'm actually loving this frame. And even though I said that we weren't going to film until like the last 5-10 minutes, why not just document this? Because it looks really pretty. And I'm shooting on 85, so I'm just kind of roaming around. Okay. How am I? Yeah, how are you You're good. This yep. Do we need to be angled more? I'm good with however yeah, it feels natural. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm literally just getting like here. Right. I'm just loving yeah. the depth right here and the reflection off that door. Like just looks now? beautiful. They, yep. The I got the carry duty. No, they're like nice, but it's like all they have to do is worry about their wedding. So like, they're like, oh, we're looking at the picture on our website and like, don't worry about our time. We're scouting a first look location. Jace, follow me, my guy. Trying to stay cool so yes, I don't sir. sweat. <laughs> yeah, the shade's nice. So we're putting a mic on the groom like we've done a thousand times over. We're gonna run through it. If you want more in-depth videos about miking, grooms, brides, people, we'll link our course below. But today we're using the Tascam DR10L Pros. Photographer? Hey. What's going on? Hey, hey I'm Jake. Hey, nice to meet you. How are you? We're just putting a mic on him. Where'd you come from? <laughs> so Mic, easy. You don't want to be seen. Don't want the photographer to deal with editing out microphones. And he's in a tux. You don't want to ruin a tux with what I'm doing here, just like a clip. Okay, so all you do, if you want to unbutton your coat for me, yeah. sir, is you want to put it towards kind of like about six to eight inches from his mouth, right? So about right here on the inside of the lapel. Okay. Where is she coming from? And I'm going to roll it. Bride is approaching. And that's how you micro <laughs> Dang, dude, I'm a little nervous right now. Like, where's this my... It's crazy. Where's Nate? The diamond. All right, I could go for it. Nice and slow. Mm. Erica, I'm going to have you look over your left shoulder and look at me. Let it play out. Let it play out. I love it. This is too big. You guys look so good here. Face me. You guys look so good. You back in 60 frames? Uh, yeah. Okay, you two. Just look at me. We're soon to do the classic, the Vogue. Just looking at me. Hold that. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't move, soft smiles. Holy shoot, please. <laughs> Dang it. Jace, look at your woman. <laughs> Jace, look at your woman. Erica, you're looking at me. Hold that. Look at each other. Then look at me on three, okay? okay. And one, two, three. Dang, you guys. Yeah, you guys 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Dude, slap on the MD. It takes two seconds. It's a game changer. I'm joining the ND family, not because of you haters in the comments, not because of the pressure, not even because of Nate. <laughs> I'm doing it because it's the look I want to go for. Okay, that's We've a, actually been wanting to buy these for a while. That's a two to five, Jake. Great. I'll probably use that two and still crank my shutter. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll use it at five. So I have an ND filter on at its max strength, and I'm still at 3,200 shutter speed. Ask me how much I care. I just felt like I was doing everything wrong. Zero. What? 1.2 aperture. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go up to two. Let me hold that for one second. <gasps> Obsessed. Obsessed. Eric, you look amazing, by the way. Seriously. This is just, this is just, just stunning. <laughs> this is so pretty. Yeah, Tennyson, kind of what I'm looking for, bro. Just textures. So I like to get as tight as I can, just literally film like the top of the pillars, yeah. lions, light posts. If you want to do a one, like a pass through the trees and get like lens flares for me or sun flares for me, sure. things like that, I just, I use so much. Okay, now this might be a little bit okay. difficult to do. Okay. Take your bodies mm -hmm. and we're going to turn this way. I want to see more of Erica's back. Okay. There okay. we go. Yep. So you're still kind of looking at your shoulder, Eric. You're not looking at me, you're looking at your shoulder. Jace, get a little bit closer with your head, just a little bit. Hold that. One, two, three, four. Ground is hot. Yep, this is hot. The ground is really hot. <laughs> you want to try this crazy shot I have an idea for? Yeah. Okay, let's do it on this pillar over here. Okay. We're going to get your wife up here. Okay. So what's the best way? Okay, I got this. Oh, hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Oh, and then he is too. That was impressive. You're crazy. Yeah. And then, bro, <laughs> this is your moment, dog. Here's what I'm picturing. Just, bam. That's it. Bang. You are a queen, Erica. <laughs> now, Jace, look to the left. Hold that, you guys. Hold that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, block the sun from your face, Erica. Yeah, uh -huh. there you go. Do you want me to play with this or hold it? Hold it, queen. You, you look like killer. Dang, bro. Yeah, look Holy at this shot, bro. Look, look at my frame. Jeez. That's your wife. Bro, get get her in the freaking. So <laughs> All right, I got it. Can't wait. Play with your veil. Kind of move it up and down. Okay, right now it's 2.30. Uh, we're gonna do a card dump. We're gonna give it to Nate. He's gonna do two live edits. He's gonna do just a quick uh, reel of the selects of her getting ready. And then just some really pretty bridal shots. And I'm gonna switch cards. He's gonna have that ready to go. We're gonna be posting on our story. She can choose whether or not she wants to share it or not, but she said her dad's gonna love it. On the FX3 with a G Master 50 millimeter lens. And I'm rocking a two to five stop ND filter today. You're welcome. Still cranking my shutter. Yeah. Casey, get in between the couple and then take a step back. Everyone look at this camera first. I'm gonna get super far back, Riley. Okay. No one move. Everyone stay back. Hold that. <laughs> I love my job, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, everyone looking down and look up when I say go. And, and this is a serious face. And one, two, three, go. Okay, one more time, slow look up. And one, two, three, rise. You guys, it looks so good. All right, Chris, am I good to plug that guy in? You are. I'll put it back here, sir. Oh, thank you. So you're gonna go through. Okay. Through? okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's plug her in there. Check, check. One, like two, good, one, two. Good. Check, check. Check. Okay, we're good. Thank you. I'm just going to listen to it back. Sounds great. Thank you. Also, I already checked with the authorities. We're good to go. Some police officers back there. Showing the uh, Mavic 3. I am using an ND filter on that, but it looks pretty good. I'm shooting 30 frames, 160 shutter. 2.8 aperture. That's gorgeous. 
So I love that exact shot for the ceremony, but it's so loud, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna leave this up in the air. Full battery? Yep, full battery. Has 32 minutes of fly time. So I'll just start back here. We are using two Sony ZV E1s today on Sigma 7200s. 4K, 24 frames. This is the groom reaction cam. Nate will make sure it's set up. Luckily, he has like an eternity to do it while the bride comes down the aisle. So Riley, where will you be? Okay, I'm just having a camera for his reaction right here. So just trying to get in the way of that. Ooh, but you should be you should be good here. <laughs> okay. I can move it though. Well, no, I just know that I just won't can be this really whole space. Know if I'll okay. Be in your way. Okay, I can move it. I'll move it more this way. All right, should be good there. Right. To block that, you'll have to like literally be where the bride's standing, so you should be good. <laughs> <laughs> now this angle is new, I'm trying it out. The idea is I'm moving it here after the bride comes up the steps, so I'll be behind her. Lens cap was on. <laughs> Nate lives on zebras and I just don't know how to turn them off. I can eyeball my exposure. <laughs> it's a skill not all of us have, but some of us do. Okay, this looks so freaking good. I'm obsessed with this. Game plan, have this rolling. I'm gonna actually emerge from the shadows with Erica. I think that'd be kind of cool. And then I'm gonna hit record when she's done. Once she's done, I'm gonna grab it and then throw it up for the bright angle. But when we hit record, that's it. We don't stop recording until the end of the ceremony. I'm not gonna stop recording when I move the camera because I just wanna edit it in, in one, in four files, right? Just nonstop, sync everything perfectly. Gotta grab cards and my camera, let's go. I mean, he's rolling, a fishing's rolling. The TX660 did not fit on that mic sleeve. I had, I had to gaff tape it. Oh, so um, a, but yeah, bigger mics, F3, mics? yeah, it's a small mic, but F3, I mean, oh. pretty <laughs> huge oh, size mic. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a big okay. mic, you know? But yeah, F3's going. Oh, F, that camera, Cardian's camera. Nate and I are just chatting away and forget that we're about to start. Just going to the zebras right here. It's really bright outside. So I'm really gonna be relying on these zebras to tell me we have perfect, we have perfect exposure. We have 57 plus or minus five, 24 frames, ISO 800, 5500 Kelvin, cranking that shutter, baby. One over 2000, F 5.0. Hey, we are starting somewhere. We got NDs for this. Give us some time to work up to these boys. Uh, we are running a task cam on the groom's jacket, the officiant's jacket. I also slipped a TX660 into the officiant's pocket. So the officiant has two mics on him. So that's three total. Uh, and then we have the F3 recording. Yeah, we have four sources of audio. I think so, they should be. Yeah, they should be. sure to get the grandparents both sets of parents and then any close friends honestly this is the creative angle and all the bases are covered I am so freaking hot I just realized that this entire day is outside I'm gonna burn it so safety camera. Uh, the groom cam, the bride cam going. Nate's filming family. My man, give the lady some sugar. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes. 
ceremony just ended, went really well. Uh, the saddest part, the ceremony started 20 minutes late and I just didn't think about it because I left the drone in the air. It took off the drone five minutes before the ceremony was supposed to start, thinking we had a full battery, it would last 40 minutes. But strong winds, plus being 20 minutes late, the second the bride started exiting, the drone emergency landed. So we captured everybody else with the drone, except for the most important person. So that was on me. I didn't have a fresh battery. I didn't really think about it. I should have had it land and then take off right before. But luckily, it's also a creative angle that isn't needed because we captured the bride entering from the ground so beautifully. So that's a good example of like, when the creative angle fails, it's not the end of the world, as long as you have your hero shots. But for example, if I would have had nothing going because I'm like, no, we got the drone capturing that one moment and it failed, effed, right? So I'm sad about it, but I'm not like, it is what it is, you move on. Stay hydrated, I'm dying. Take off the suit, Jake. Shut up. All right, Athy is inside grinding edits. He's already made a few. They look super good. In the air yep. conditioning. Yep. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> We're gonna get our toe set up. We won't need lighting because the sun doesn't go down for another four hours. And when the sun does go down, the wedding is over actually. So we are here till nine. And that is what time sunset is. Do I look beat? Like. You look fantastic. Do I really? Did you film the marriage license thing? Yeah. How was it? On the 85? <laughs> Let him cook, boys. <laughs> Nate cooks on that thing. No, but, but okay, 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 okay. Yes. Let me say. So, as for the ceremony, our behind the scenes, I brought up a good point. Was the photographer in our way? Yes. Did it matter? No. <laughs> I knew the photographer would be in one of our shots. Yeah. That's how we had four cameras going. Because when she blocked one, we had three others to, to choose from. So whenever people like hate on photographers, I'm just like, hey, sh they're doing their job, right? Like, she had to get her angles too. Uh, and I could sit here and make excuses all day on, you know, why didn't she use this lens or why didn't she go here? Yeah, why didn't she hire a second shoot? I don't, it doesn't matter because our job was to capture the ceremony, which we did. And so when she would get in front of cameras, I just knew, okay, she's in front of that camera, that's okay. She'll be there for like maybe five seconds, which always she was. It wasn't very long. And then I knew that, okay, Nate has a camera going, we have a hero camera going, and we have another camera going, just in case. So yeah, don't complain about photographers, it's just... Cover your bases. Then look up at my camera on three. Oh, sorry, I just, in the moment. <laughs> okay, turn left, turn right. And one, two, three, look at me. We're starting, Dad. I love health. Uh, uh, this isn't going on YouTube, never mind. <laughs> Guys, I know what you're saying. should I make a paywall for an uncut version? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you want that video. <laughs> the thing I miss most about the C70 is the battery placement. The FX3 eats through batteries, bro. Everyone in the comments, well then just get a V-mount. I know, I know. I just, I don't, I want a lightweight gimbal setup, you guys, and so I just don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna V-mount a battery to my gimbal yet. No. yet. Nate's gonna be charged with the speaker cam, I'm gonna get this set for the couple cam. We're gonna do our best, we'll kinda just talk you our, talk you through it as we go. It's Nothing really crowded. to say. It's pretty crowded. Yeah, audio is the same setup, F3, yeah. and we have a TX660 on it. TX660, F3 is still the same. Um, honestly, no, there's no wind, speaker sounds great. The, the TX660 is the backup. So my dream spot is right here, but because they're shooting over candlesticks. Daddy might be able to make it work. <laughs> Never mind. I shouldn't say that. Nope, too tight. See, it's risky to put it using people as foreground. This is a family wedding, so people could just get up and go get pizza or drinks because this is happening during dinner. So I need my camera to be out of the way, but I still want it to look good. Now, they are going to be looking this direction towards the speech giver, so I might just do a profile shot and call it a day. Do we move an umbrella for the speech giver? It would look so good. All right, we are gonna move on to the speeches this evening. Okay, I'm at ISO 640, 3.5 aperture, one over 2,000. And 3.5 makes it so, since Jason and Erica are on different planes here, uh, anything crazy low, like a, I guess oh, this, this is 70 to 200, so you can't go to like okay. a 2.0 or less. Um, um, raise the aperture a little bit because from the very since they're on different planes like this, um, if you are at a low aperture, one of them's gonna be out of focus. Days, we've known this day so 4.0, 3.5, even 5.6 would be great. Mark. 
so have been such a big part of our life. I'm not a huge fan of this angle. And we've enjoyed. We threw the umbrella last second, thinking it would uh, it's been an diffuse the lighting the, the way it's doing on Erica and Jesus shot. I can tell you just stories and so it's a little dark, especially compared to the backgrounds I have to expose for. But I'm gonna fix it in post, and I'll show you guys I the just final result. I can't say enough. Hopefully how it works. Much, how much I'm gonna miss those chapters, this, but yeah. I'm also looking. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Just panning up, I see all of Salt Lake City. Great. Honestly, that's one of my favorite things to do is just while I'm getting the drone in position, just roll it. So it's kind of cool. All right. Max altitude reached. I'm guessing it's because we're at the Salt Lake Capitol, so it's restricted airspace or limited. I'll actually record my screen here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so while I was moving up, I kind of had this whole city view in frame. So I just rolled camera and it looked really pretty. Max altitude's like 200 feet right now. But as you can see right here, there's some lawn games going on. So let's fly it over here. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like sweating. Just go, all right. <laughs> no, Jake's killing it. I like the shadows, it's kind of cool. That's a vibe and a half. All right, I like the long shadows. That's beautiful. I just think of Sam Colder's drone video, bro. Why are you flying the drone, huh? Oh. oh man, one more time. Wait for it. I almost just crashed the drone because of you. Because of me? Yeah. What I do? Well, I'm gliding over these trees right here. And I was like, it'll catch it. I didn't know it was on sport mode and I literally <laughs> just hovered right over them. I've never crashed one though. Guess who has? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks good, but I'm not like married to it. With the drone, I just, I think we overkill it anyway. We just have so much time right now. So I'm like, why not? Get some variety. I hope that was mine. I just thought about it just now. Why are we here and where will we go and how come it's so hard? But I know that they'll be gone. I haven't had a cake cutting outdoors in the sunlight forever. I'm also at N5 again. I'm still cranking my shutter to 1 over 640. Now, that's better than 1 over 8,000, but still. You should buy the 6 to 9 stop. I should. Cut cake often? Never done well, it. Well, good luck. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Do you guys have one second? This yeah. lighting is just yeah. too good. Yeah. Up yeah. against the fence. Hold it. Back 
Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for what I like to call the culminating event this Almost evening. There. The bride and groom will now be taking the dance floor for the first time as husband and wife. Georgia, Grammy of Anoia, I'll let you go again like I did for years to say. Just, just lower it, Nate. Lower it. But main principle those wide shots of the reception. Go to Saltaire, if you're already going that way. Yeah. Saltaire, that's like my most viral place. Every time I go there, it is viral. Oh my! It hit the cage. I just saw glass. No, it was this guy. It was this. What, your, I mean, your lens is fine. Were you recording? I was. All right. I don't know if I got it. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's just talk about this right now. <laughs> oh. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, you're chilling. Hey, I just want this to be known. This is going on the gram. Yo. This is going on the gram. Are you sure? I don't know if that's uh, going Oh, my God. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> All right. You know how many times you I'll said never it say it again. <laughs> Nate drops stupid stuff. I drop big stuff. <laughs> I was doing this. I was trying to do this, and then I dropped it. I grabbed. I just did it again. All right. Let me let me apologize. This is my former apology to Nate Tehan. You know how that phrase, "You are who you hang around." Hey. Maybe, that, <laughs> maybe that's what's happening. Whoa. Maybe I'm becoming like my, my, my favorite person. <laughs> and by doing so, I drop the gear. <laughs> oh, people just watch us laugh about dropping us FX3 and be like, Money is no morons. option. I'll just buy a new one tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please click on an ad. <laughs> what have I been doing? We got the prism! All right, here we go. Glass prism. Just getting some depth here. Yeah! All right, here we go. Also, I'm, I'm sorry, but you don't, you let Brightside play to the end. I know, that's the last song. No, 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 you don't do that. Play it to the end. Oh, oh, you don't oh, cut it off. Yeah, no, you don't cut yeah. it. But it's just a price of it. It's falling in. Open up my ears. Don't fade it out. Don't fade it. Don't fade it. Don't fade it. The laffy taffy. Unbelievable.
close one. Turn off! God! <laughs> Just thousands of dollars of gear sitting out in the open. Anyone can walk by. The drone's been there since I last used it. But hey, I dropped gear now, so. Uh, my gimbal's dead, so I'm just pretty much... Gimbals are dead. Is yours dead? Yeah. Gimbals are dead. Lights are staying in the backpack. His wedding is ending raw. <laughs> so they're doing a stream or exit. No sparklers, no light. We're gonna test out the dual native ISO on the Sony cameras and uh, kind of lean into our own laziness here. I, I think the tricky part is we have to walk down the stairs backwards. Oh no, we'll just hit at the end. No, because then they're gonna go this way. Yeah, because look at the light on these guys. Look at my camera. I don't know. These are really casting. Did you hear him slamming the brakes? Where's my phone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do a little outro, man. GTFO. Man, it's one of those nights where like, do you ever look forward to just driving home after a long day and just vibing? Oh, I love 9.30 end times though, holy. Yeah, still got all night for a movie. That's exactly right. That is a wrap. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Dropped one camera today, <laughs> almost crashed the drone. But all in all, hey, successful day. day. Honestly, yeah. really refreshing wedding. It was. That was a really nice wedding. We were just vibing. It was just a vibe today. Yeah, today was a vibe. Absolutely. Really happy. Uh, we're going to show you some of the design reels that, uh, or sorry, the same day reels that Athy's been making. Um, it was been pretty cool. We've been seeing edits go up on our story throughout the day uh, and showing the couple, and they're like, what? That was just like an hour ago. And it's like, yep, and it's on our story, and people can repost it. And It's, it's kind of like that, that same thing. Like, you know how when we're shooting a bridal and you go up and you show a couple, yeah. and it just like hypes them up because mm -hmm. they see how good they look? It's kind of like the same thing today with showing them the reels. Like they just Better. see it. Yeah, yeah, they see it and they're just like, oh my goodness. Yeah. And they get hyped and they just trust yeah. you completely. Yeah. So that was awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Hope Absolutely. you enjoyed today. For those interested, we are selling our online course right now for 60% off. The online course includes pretty much everything we do for as professional wedding videographers, but more in depth. We have 12 modules that cover lighting, audio, basics for beginners, posing, color grading, editing. We cover it all in an online course and we're currently giving it away for 60% off and we'll link that below and we'd love to have you part of our community. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Boom. All right. Dope. Cut. Cut.